In the What's New videos for AutoCAD 2010, we discuss the Quick Access Toolbar and the fact that it is now customizable. Up at the top of the screen here, we still have New, Open, Save, Undo, Redo and Plot. But just to the right here now on the Quick Access Toolbar, we have this little flyout arrow. When I click on it, it brings out the customized Quick Access Toolbar menu. As you can see, we still have New, Open, Save, undo, redo and plot on the list, they're ticked, indicating that they're already on the quick access toolbar. However, it gives you the option to place things like match properties, plot preview and render onto the quick access toolbar. Now I may not want to place those on the quick access toolbar, so I have the more commands option here. What I've also got though is the ability to show the menu bar. That allows me to have the menu bar from previous versions of AutoCAD so I can still have my pull-down menus available to me even though I've got the ribbon interface running right now. I can also show below the ribbon as well so I can show the menu bar and the quick access toolbar below the ribbon. I'm not going to change my setup though because I like it the way it is. You can change it if you wish. What I am going to show you though is how to get more commands onto the quick access toolbar. So if I now click on more commands here what this will open up is a quick CUI, a quick customize user interface and what it gives me is a big list of all the commands that are available to me in AutoCAD 2010. So I might want for example 3D constrained orbit made available to me on the quick access toolbar up here. So I select it like so and then what I do is I actually drag it so I left click and hold the mouse button down and drag, you'll see the little no entry symbol there, when that no entry symbol turns to a little rectangle like that, you know that you're in the right place on the quick access toolbar to release your mouse button. You get this funny little symbol here. This is indicating to you now that you've placed the command on the quick access toolbar, but what you've got to do now is click on OK down here or apply down here on the customize user interface. Now I'm going to use a belt and braces approach here. I'm going to apply that new command and you'll notice it appears there on the quick access toolbar and then I'm going to click on OK. When I click on apply that writes that command into the quick access toolbar in the AutoCAD CUIX file. It basically customizes the CUIX file to let AutoCAD know that you want that command on the quick access toolbar. Now that's all well and good and you may only want that command there for a little while. How do you remove it? Very very easy. Just move over the command here on the quick access toolbar, it's a right click over the icon when it's highlighted and remove from quick access toolbar. Click on that, it removes the command from the quick access toolbar, it also removes any coding that's in the CUIX file as well. So as you can see there in AutoCAD 2010 you can customize the quick access toolbar so that you've got quick access to the commands that you use on a regular basis.